Ladies and gentlemen, Republicans are now investigating Joe Biden. This is official. Interestingly enough, Romney is opposing the investigation. <laughs> Romney says the Biden Burisma probe appears political. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it is political, actually. Um, it's, it's political, and there's a lot of corruption in politics, so I guess you could say it's political. Um, Biden didn't coincidentally force out a prosecutor as his son was on the board of directors making millions of dollars from a corrupt energy corporation. So anyway, uh, that's a new investigation. Republicans egged on by Trump scrutinize Hunter as his father surges. So this is now big news. Uh, here's a news flash. also. Hillary Clinton's going to be nominee. I don't know if I told you that. And by the way, thank you to my new Patreons. Your support is greatly appreciated going into this election season. It is just very important for independent creators uh, to have the support of, of, of viewers. And I am just so fortunate and lucky. I have the best comments section on YouTube. I have the most amazing subscribers. I have the best people on Super Chat. Um, just awesome. Everyone on my live streams are awesome. And my Patreons, I just want to thank you. Um, Definitely, if you, if you enjoy my content, as always, share it on social media. Um, what I was referring to regarding people who impersonated me, that's being taken care of. But um, that, that if you put H.A. Goodman in your name on Twitter, that actually is a crime. But other than that, um, I'm if you share my work, I thank you. I'll thank you forever. So just, yeah, if you enjoy my, my, my YouTube segments and my articles – Share them. They're below in the pinned comment and description. To my Patreon, thank you. To everyone, just thank you for your immense support. This is going to be the most important election of our lifetimes. It, it, of our lifetime. It will. And Hillary Clinton is going to be the nominee. She'll lose again. Not a big deal. She'll run again in 2024. It's not a big deal at all. Um, they're not going to go with Biden. Bernie Sanders is officially done. He's down by 49 points. I don't really care about polls. But when you're down by 49 points in Florida... Um, you're done. So Bernie Sanders is done. He's not going to win Michigan. Um, he has experienced such contempt. They despise him. They despise him on social media. They despise Bernie Sanders supporters. Everything that Bernie did to sell his soul to the Democratic Party, he should have figured out a way to win the South. He needed to win Southern voters, and he needed to win the Southern states. Check out my segment prior to this one at, at Mississippi. Um, he's not even really, he's not running in Mississippi. You can't just give up on a state, especially a southern state. You cannot win without southern support, without the vote, uh, without the support of southern voters in the Democratic primary. So, uh, 2016 Bernie Sanders was completely different. People say, "Well, how did you go from Bernie to Trump?" Read the Federalist article below in the pinned comment and description. Um, but he was a different candidate. Thank God Trump won. Trump, 5 million people lifted out of poverty, first president to step foot in North Korea and begin detente between North and South Korea, withdrawing Americans from the country's longest uh, counterinsurgency military conflict. We can go on forever. Um, GDP up, household median income up, um, record low black and Latino unemployment. Uh, at one point a couple months ago, the unemployment rate for Hispanic and Latino men was below the national average. Then you have 6 million jobs created, 8.9 million, 6 million jobs created in three years, 8.9 million created in eight years under President Obama. So when people say, well, what did Trump ever do? You know, he's, he's done a lot. First step act, got us out of the TPP, which is what Bernie Sanders would have done also. Um, look, Ber okay, so Joe Biden leads Bernie Sanders by nearly 50% in Florida poll. Joe Biden is crushing Bernie, uh, that's Newsweek, but Joe Biden is crushing Bernie Sanders in Florida. If you can't win Florida in the Democratic primary, what makes you think you're going to win Florida? in the uh, election. The sky is falling for both candidates, by the way. Biden just has to talk about, you know, you're, you're not talking about the sharpest tool in the shed. You're talking about one fry short of a Happy Meal. You're talking about perhaps drinking vodka before, um, you know, uh, getting on the mic, like a bottle of. You're talking about somebody who could be like, and, you know, uh, Benjamin Lincoln, uh, one of our founding mothers, who said, "Hey, this is a good person." I didn't know the I didn't know the man. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> hey, fat, come on, man. Yes, my hands are long. 
Shlubba lubba ding dong. Hey, uh, come on, you know. Um, you know, George Jefferson. Uh, George Jefferson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, trying to, you know, mix up presidents, obviously, the way Biden would. Who knows what Biden's capable of? I want to thank everybody for the uh, cosmonaut, uh, this award from uh, outer space. Hey, who knows what he's going to say? Who knows what he's going to say next? They're gonna, they can ask him, you know, are you, he literally is there, he happened to be president, I think he said something like, oh, I'm running, running for Senate, and uh, you can best believe. Look, look, the, I don't even want to say what the hashtag is on Twitter. Biden is done. For the Burisma probe, we can, I mean, I've gotten into it every segment for the past, I've gotten into every segment for the past, um, um, you know, three, four, five, six months since impeachment. Marie Ivanovich even stated that President Obama's administration gave her talking points regarding Hunter Biden and Burisma. It's a game, set, match regarding that, okay? It, Giuliani has, Rudy Giuliani has sworn affidavit from Victor Shokin that William Barr and John Durham and Senate Republicans have access to. That's a fact. Okay, the Senate, this is the thing. Mitt Romney can play, Mitt Romney wants to run again. Okay, just like I'm just like I'm going to be, I will be remembered. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Look, Hillary Clinton's going to run. It doesn't matter. Like Hillary Clinton is going to be nominee. She will lose again. I'm the only person on planet Earth. Steve Bannon just recently started talking about that. Who's been talking. I'm the only person who's been talking about this since 2017. I wrote about it in the Huffington Post. Clinton 2020 is a reality. Get ready for eight years of Trump. Biden cannot circumvent this issue regarding hunter hunter is like a um like a you know this this giant weight on his shoulders regarding an infinite number of of scandals and contra controversies honestly it's not so much that he engaged in overt hunter is not the issue here he didn't actually engage in overt criminal behavior what Joe Biden might have done is utilized his post to fire a, a prosecutor in another country. Now, the rebuttal is, oh, well, uh, that person wasn't prosecuting enough. What's well, none of your business? Who cares what you think if you're in another country? That's for the Ukrainian official. That's for the Ukrainian government and the country of Ukraine to decide. Are you Ukrainian? Then don't decide what happens in that country. Don't decide what, who they fire and who they hire. But Biden engaged, this is not how we conduct foreign policy. But that's exactly how an authoritarian conducts foreign policy. I mean, they say Trump's a despot and authoritarian. No, a despot says, you'll do my bidding or you will not get this money. And here, he's, he's right there. So they try to, they, they, tr they call Trump lawless. They call him full of endless, bottomless corruption, lawless. The articles of impeachment did not list a, a crime. They didn't list a legal statute. There's literally no crime that Trump has been impeached on. He was impeached on the opinions, the viewpoints of Democrats who think that he obstructed Congress, which is not a legal statute, or abused his power, which again is not a legal statute. These are the, uh, these are the opinions of, of, of a whole bunch of people who just don't like him. And then they said, well, he withheld military assistance to go after Biden. No, because that's absurd. It just about three, four days ago, Bernie Sanders was going to run away with this whole thing. Everyone was saying, all the pollsters were saying, Bernie Sanders is going to run away with it. Now they're saying Biden's going to run away with it. Well, Biden is not the front runner. Bernie was never the front runner. Biden was never the front runner. Hillary Clinton is going to find some way. There's 10 different possibilities to just swoop in, get the, get the election. It's, there's a million different ways. The Republicans with their investigation, um, you know, find something that 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 Biden just can't explain because he can't explain anything really. He hasn't really been. If they if they give him if they demand that he testifies with a subpoena, which is what they want to do. If you read the New York Times article, they want to get everyone under oath. It's game set match done. They're not gonna with Clinton. She has Co she had Comey. And all of her scandals and actual criminal acts were swept under the rug. You can't use a private server for four years with top secret and special access program intelligence on this server. How on earth did Clinton transfer the information? How do you transfer classified data outside of the United States government? Okay, 
And people like that, her emails again, her emails. Oh, yeah, her email servers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the, the, her email servers. Her email servers. So, um, anyway, the, the issue is you're looking at a situation where Clinton's, whatever you want to say about Madam Secretary, she's the only person who could get close to defeating Trump. And you watch when she gets the nomination, the same people, and I love you, who watch this channel, who say, oh, she's not going to run, she's not going to run, are going to be the same people who are going to be like, oh, my God, she might win. Do you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that media is going to make you think that Clinton might actually win the presidency? That will happen. Biden is up 49 in, um, B Biden is up 49 points in Florida. He's wrapped up whatever farce and charade and rigged primary this is. It's rigged because the, it's rigged because you have an app from Clinton campaign, uh, former Clinton campaign officials that just suddenly didn't work in Iowa. It's rigged because it's taken a million years to even, uh, you know, find out that, that Mayor Pete won Iowa. It's rigged because there's a 15% threshold and then people suddenly just drop out when they're no longer needed to prevent Bernie Sanders from winning. That's what the rigged nature is. So you can just tell people who, I mean, if you're interested, if you're one of the few progressives who still watch this channel, if an establishment person says, oh, well, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm a Trump supporter, so I don't care what happens on the left. But if you if if you have a person that well, it's not rigged. Well, then why did Amy Klobuchar drop out, and why did Mayor Pete drop out a day or two days before the election? Why did Bloomberg drop out? A, a, sorry, Super Tuesday, a day after Super Tuesday. Why do you think this all happened? Okay, why do you think um, Elizabeth Warren has dropped out now, right before Ohio, or sorry, Michigan, which would have taken votes away from Biden? Before, see, Elizabeth Warren ran a brilliant, like a really insidious, nefarious campaign. She came in siphoning votes from Bernie. Then she differentiated herself from Bernie and then made up, a, a fabricated a quote, which is what they had done to Trump throughout his tenure, fabricated intent, fabricated a quote, or mangled or just, you know, said he said something that he didn't actually say. Oh, yeah, women, a woman couldn't win. Oh, so you want to nominate somebody in the 100th anniversary, the centennial of the 19th Amendment, who said a woman couldn't win. They lied. But Bernie Sanders made his bed. Bernie Sanders did this to himself. Instead of trying to do what he did in 2016, which was like lightning in a bottle, and thank God Trump won because Bernie, we, we learned the tr who the true Bernie Sanders is. After the 2016 election, he could have simply said, you cheated me. Uh, you can give back $200 million to my voters, DNC. I think you, you ought to do that. Uh, the Russians didn't write the emails. And by the way, you tried to paint me as an atheist. Well, what's wrong with an atheist? Oh, and by the way, what's this mishigash about dinners and journalists and all the media uh, that, doesn't, that didn't like me? Okay. Uh, what's this also? Um, yeah, you know, Trump didn't work with Russia. And even if he did, it had nothing to do with the Democratic primary. And what's this? 500 conflicts of interest in the Clinton Foundation, actually written by a Clinton Foundation employee. And yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, all of these things. He could, have, he could have simply said, hey, listen, the problems with the Democratic Party um, have nothing to do with any allegations against Trump. And then the allegations against Trump were nonsense to, to begin with. Nonsense to begin with. They, they use the same allegations against Bernie. Give me your thoughts below. The whole thing is a bunch of malarkey, which is what, um, which is what um, uh, Biden's tagline is, if you even know that. Give me your thoughts. Check out H.A. Um, Goodman's other channel right this second. Um, and what can I tell you? What can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for all your support. It's happening, people. Republicans egged on by Trump scrutinize Hunter Biden as his father says. So now, Biden has uh, the Burisma scandal. He opens his mouth, and it's a scandal. Uh, the it's it's he's not. You're not talking about somebody who's lucid. He doesn't. He might not even know like what state he's in. What you know? What's going on? He. He either drank a bottle of vodka every time he gets on the mic, or he drinks a bottle every time he gets on the microphone, or there's some issues. 
or it's like this elaborate facade just to make his campaign you know absolutely horrible but but effective enough to defeat Bernie Sanders to where he can just coast to giving Hillary Clinton the nomination look it takes about two to three to four articles in the Washington Post, the New York Times. It takes a, a couple pundits, I'm with her pundits, going on MSNBC, CNN. It takes about a week and a half to go from, I can't imagine Clinton running, to, you know what, we need Clinton. It takes about a week and a half for not just Democrats, the whole planet. That's why when I say a lot of the things I say, it takes a while. When I said Clinton would lose, nobody believed it. And I don't understand being like, oh, you need you're not right about it. Well, no, I was right about the 2016. I was 100% right about Clinton lost to Trump. Okay. Um, and then and then we have 2020. Hillary Clinton will lose to Trump again. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They'll make they'll make boatloads of money. All of them will. Give me your thoughts. But why do you think Bernie doesn't go after um, Biden? Gee, I wonder why. Give me your thoughts below. Um... Thank you so very much. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now.